match preview press conference for the fourth T20I in the gold medal T20 Cup presented by Kent Water Purifiers. As promised, today we have West Indies captain Nicholas Curran available to speak with the media. Brandon, please proceed. All right, Nicholas Curran, a nice practice here with you. Tell us about the conditions of this game. Um, it looks really good to be honest. The pitch looks nice to bat on. Um, there's a nice wind factor as well. It's a bit hot, um, but I guess we are accustomed to the sun now. But the venue looks beautiful. In terms of the surface, why don't you on the surface? Uh, well, I haven't seen the, the match pitch yet. Um, I'm waiting for them to take the covers off, but I'm expecting something really nice you know, from the last couple of games, obviously. You know, in Florida, obviously, it's a really good batting pitch. 2-1 down in the series. What areas of improvement has made it to West Indies to bounce back? I'm um, just need to continue doing what we have been doing in the first couple of games to be honest. Um, and finding ways to win and, and just understanding when we are in those moments, just fight it out a bit more, especially with the bat and the ball. I think we have been moving forward, but unfortunately, you know, we haven't been consistent in terms of win. But that's fine, you know, we're not really studying that, but you know, we are studying our process and which is, it's going really nice for us. In terms of clicking with the bat and ball, we haven't seen collective efforts consistently from the West Indies. How do we solve that? Again, well, the more key to play as a unit, it's obviously going to get better. You see Kyle, Kyle is going you know, half centuries, King is going half centuries. I make some runs sometimes as well. Um, but everyone is playing a role on the team and it's not about individuals, it's about everyone just and doing exactly what the team is required at that moment. And I think we have been doing that. Again, unfortunately, we haven't been you know, getting a win, but you know, winning and losing is contagious. And we know as a team, we are doing a lot of right things. So you know, hopefully, eventually, we can start to win games and you know, really different questions for you. you. You mentioned King and Mayers, who both seem in fairly good form. Can we say that they're now a certainty as openers for the T20 World Cup, or do you still want to look at more options ahead of the World Cup? Um, I would love Brandon and Brandon and Mies to be a old nuts. They have been the batting well individually and together. I think they have been fantastic for the West Indies so far. Um, I would love to see those other move in the World Cup as well. You know, they, they actually deserve it and showing that they, they're coming out here and actually you know, putting in hard work and I'm happy that they're reaping the rewards now. So you know, let's, hope, you know, let's hope that happens as well and you know, things be in their favour. The middle order hasn't achieved the type of consistency that we would like to see as yet. Do you feel any pressure in regards to that situation, especially with the series on the line on Saturday? I'm not pressured to be honest. If Kyle and King is making runs and myself is making runs at number three, four, then that means the guys in the lower order, they're not getting much time to bat. And in T20 cricket, you don't expect a guy to come in you know, every game bat five, ten boards and keep scoring runs. You know, it's very, you know, it's, it's an inconsistent game for batsmen. And we understand that again, when, when players are batting well, we expect them to bat well and the other guys around them to do, you know, do the hard, do the dirty job as well. And the guys have been doing that and it's been really nice from the beginning of the year. We as a group, you know, really appreciate that effort. India often struggles against left arm pace, especially in the recent past. Just how important is Obed McCoy to this unit, especially in this series? Um, very important. You see in the second game, you know, how good he is, especially against India with a new ball and on the back end. Very valuable for us. It's important for us to keep him fresh and on the, on the back. Um, watch his workload as well. With him, but it's very vital not only for this, this India series but you know, all the series for us. You know, the more we have over the more available for West Indies cricket, then I think as a bowling could be only going to get better. Thanks, Kevin.